full size 1911 carrying in the Agents, Agents Armory holster and really liking this holster as you can see it comes out easy and I'm putting it right back in the holster not looking and that's what it looks like with a full size 1911 Hey guys, I wanted to do a follow up on this Aegis Armory holster. <clears throat> Excuse me, I got this uh, a little over a month ago. And uh, Stephen had called me and asked me if I'd like to check his holster out. And I went to his website, picked out the color I wanted. He has three different colors in the leather as of now, and numerous different colors in the Kydex. And I ordered it, it came within two days, believe it or not. And when I was deciding what gun to get it for, I decided, I think I said in the first video, the 1911, because I'd like to carry that, but I have trouble carrying it because every holster I've used in the past, my pants were dragged down. And I wear those BBNB jeans. If you're not familiar with those, those are the big belly, no butt jeans. And I'll be walking around and constantly trying to pull my pants up. So, I ordered this and I've been wearing it for a little over a month. It seems to have really eliminated that problem. First off, <coughs> excuse me, I carried this full size 1911 which I showed in the beginning. And it's weighing in at over 2 pounds. Loaded. And because of the width of this, the weight doesn't seem to bother me. I carried it many days all day, walking around, sitting in the truck, and just generally doing, going around doing my stuff. And I'm not going to lie to you, I had to jack my pants up a couple of times, you know, just pull them up. But I think it's got to do with the leather, the width, and the way this is shaped for some reason it doesn't drag my pants down and the weight seems to be distributed enough that I don't feel it as much I apologize for the lighting I'm at the mountain in the shack and my lighting isn't that great it's raining outside so I could do it outside and I'm working with uh, regular electric lights and an oil lamp so I apologize for the lighting. I hope it's going to come across all right. Anyway, so far I am really enjoying the holster. I find once it's on my on my uh, pants inside my belt, it stays up. Uh, the gun feels very secure in there. Now I'm not going to tell you I'm jumping from railroad cars or anything, of course, but. <laughs> On an average day, an average person, it's a very, very comfortable holster. Secures the weapon fine. It bowls to the gun. I don't, like I say, the lighting's bad. I don't know if you can see this, but you can see where I've been wearing it. It's starting to wear there, and in the back, you can see it's getting. It's not like brand new anymore. It's just getting worn in, and it's like Stephen says on his website comfortable from day one that is a hundred percent true now this is the other one I was carrying with it this was really good it was awesome barely knew I had to gun on and this ain't a lightweight I mean it's a lighter than the full size but it is definitely not a lightweight gun like a Glock or something it's still a heavy gun but it really performed well with it um, it, when the gun is holstered, you have, like it says, it covers it up and wears comfortable, but you still can grasp the gun really easy. You got full access to your grip. And I'll show you with the, I really like the way it fits there. 
and again full access to your grip when it's on and in the beginning you could see that you can unholster and holster it real easy and I know a lot of people say well you got the holster for free so you're gonna give a good review no I wouldn't do that guys I really wouldn't I had a company a long time ago gave me a deal and I wasn't happy with them and needless to say I took my video down that I put and told the company I didn't want to have any further dealings with them. And if I did not like this holster, if I didn't feel it was what Steven said it was, I would have called him and said, look, I can send you a holster back, whatever you want to do, but I don't feel like doing a review on it. I wouldn't do a bad review on it. I would just not do a review at all. Like they say, if you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. That's my feelings. But... I feel this holster is, for the price point, one of the best holsters I've ever owned. And I have never owned this style, I gotta tell you that, but I am now sold on it. I know a lot of guys in the gun community that got this holster. I've talked to them in person and on the phone, and every one of them says the same thing. They are so impressed with this holster. I can't say much more about it, guys just want to tell you that Aegis Army is a great company this is 100% American made there, he puts uh, a lot of Americans to work making these holsters he's got awesome customer service his website is awesome and I think that Steven has could really hit the nail on the head and I think this company is going to be really big I want to thank Steven again for letting me try this holster out and I will be getting some more. I will get them for my lighter guns like my Glocks and stuff. I'm going to try that. But right now, I'll tell you the truth, I like it so much I bought another 1911 which will be coming tomorrow just because now I feel I can carry a 1911. So once again guys, please, I'll leave the links down there. I wish you'd go check them out. I know a lot of you guys have already purchased these holsters from what I'm hearing. And check out all the other videos. See what they got to say about them. So far, uh, like I say, everybody I've talked to has the same impression. They love it. Alright guys, thanks again and I'll be talking to you soon.